Hey guys, it's Peter Jordan from Sunrise Marine of Alabama and today we're going to take a look at the new Echo Map Plus from Garmin. She's a brand new unit and she's replacing the old Echo Maps that have been so successful for us. She's got a lot of great upgraded features and uh, I think she's going to be a real staple around here and for all of your inshore and freshwater fishing. So give us a minute, let's go right through it. So starting out, one cool thing that separates the old Echo Map to the Echo Map Plus is that this is a touch screen unit. So I've got it on simulator right now. Um, couple cool features about it yes it is a touch screen and I do like the fact that all this looks like apps on your cell phone and you can fan through it all the way around one of my things I've never been super fond of for touch screens was if I was uh, in the chop or it was uh, tough running that day trying to operate touch screen can be really difficult but with this I've got hotkeys and so I can go through different pre-selected map regions so I like that quite a good bit I can also zoom in and out from right here I've got all of my charts that I would typically have, the navigation chart, the uh, fishing chart, perspective 3D, and I can still add additional charts right here through the card reader. Most of the time this is going to be used for your active captain, but if you do want to supplement it with other uh, chips, like this one is the uh, 93SV, which will give you your inland maps chip, uh, or not inland maps chip, but it comes with preloaded with the inland maps. I can add a G2 chip right here, and it really opens up what we can do in the delta down here. So I've got all my saltwater maps, all my freshwater maps, and it's seamless. That's one thing we can do. And when it's time to upgrade or update your maps, we'll pull out the G2 chip, put in the Garmin Active Captain, do it all from there. So that's a really convenient way to do things. Now coming to the home screen, it's just like your cell phone, or if you're an Android guy, because you've got your main home screen, and I've got my back button. All right, from my charts, I can access, once again, like we talked about, uh, my fishing charts, navigation charts, perspective 3D. Once you add the G2, it'll add fish eye and a couple other things. Sonars, once again, I have traditional, clear view, and side view. Um, and we'll go through later on explaining what each of these items do, but I can also split them into individual uh, different things. So if I need to, I've got a ton of different uh, options available. So for most people, what we're going to generally end up using is traditional, clear view, and side view. If you want to split them and use them, that's phenomenal. You can do that. So it's really seamless. I can look at uh, clear view and traditional here, or clear view and side view, or all three at once, which is a really, really cool option on what to do. Okay. Now, going back from there, we're going to come to our home screen again, and I can run combos. At my combo screen, I can add any number of combos I want to, and it's really easy to customize. But now it's just a touch of a button. So let me build a combo menu for us. So I'm going to come right here. Uh, this is probably my favorite layout right here. I'm going to press right here and go to my charts. I'm going to do a fishing chart. This is my favorite fishing setup for this. I'm going to come right here to my sonar and I'm going to run traditional. Now traditional, remember, it's going to show me my schools of bait, whereas my uh, clear view won't really do that so much. So this is better for bait schools. Sonar again. I'm going to supplement this with the side view. Okay, back. All right, too many buttons. Okay, and if I want to as well, I can eliminate this. But this is just fine for right now. I can read this very clearly. And now I can arrange the screen to whatever size I want. So that's easy to do. Once I'm happy with where it's at, I'm going to press done, and we're going to carry on from there. And then I can name my combo. So this is fine for me. You can name it whatever you want to. All right, now we're going to come to the home. I'm going to come to my combos. Now I've got combo 7. This is the one I just used. And let's say we're going to use this a good bit. It's like one of my favorite combos. Well, I can press and hold down key number 1. And now this is saved to my short key. And whichever of the screens I last touch is the one that I'm going to interact with. So if I touch this one right here, I can go just to this unit. And if I want to go back to my combo screen, I'll press the back again. I've got nav info right here. I can mark everything right here. And you got menu items for each one. And notice this opens up your combination configuration, fishing charts, all your individual things. So it's really, 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 really a user-friendly thing to do. Uh, this unit is not going to come with pan optics. It is, is an option. It's a different um, transducer setup than the one we offer here at our store, but we are certainly happy to accommodate with that. Uh, you can run autopilot with this one, which is pretty neat. That would be like a single reactor unit. And then it's also NEMA 2000, so you can wire everything in from right there. Uh, if you want to get to know more about the Active Captain, just go to Garmin's uh, YouTube channel, and they really go through that really well. Um, 
media system, once again, NEMA 2000. That's going to be through your Fusion more than anything else. But we're going to go real quick. I'm going to hit number one, which is my nav or my combo I just made. And if I want to, I can zoom in and out from right here. If I want to switch screens, I can do that right here and go to a different one of just my uh, traditional sonar and just keep on going. I can make it whatever I need to be with the short keys and zoom in and out. So this is a really, really, really great unit. It moves forward really well with what Garmin was doing with the Echo Map. It's all the same stuff I liked about it. Um, and it's kind of upgraded. I've always been anti-touchscreen on your bay boats uh, because of trying to operate in chop, but I think this really answers that and brings it together. This is a nice unit. It's not a hybrid unit. They call it a touch assist unit, and I think it's a real winner. So we look forward to using this throughout the year. All the same tried and true Garmin stuff. So a great thing about this unit right here, she's going to be $1,750 installed onto your new Revalo or your new Cape Bay or whatever you want to do. Um, she's ready to roll. She has numerous transducer options. We can go through all that with you. And when you buy the boat from us here at Sunrise Marine of Alabama, we take the time to go through this unit with you on the water so that when you're out there, uh, you're not looking at any big surprises. And if you need help or you have more questions, feel free to call us. You'll have your cell phone, uh, to me, your salesman's cell phone number. So if you bought a boat from me, you're stuck with me, uh, you would just call my cell phone number, which I'll give you when you're here. Um, but this is a lot of options, a lot of cool stuff you can do. If you have any questions about this unit, add it into the comment section down below. I'm happy to answer them. If I don't know the answer, I'll get in touch with my Garmin rep and get that for you. But uh, this is a solid unit, really tried and true. The Echo Map series has been a huge favorite for us, and I think it's a wonderful addition for the 1042 or 1242 XSV. And uh, next time, we're going to go through the 76 series. So I appreciate y'all watching. I look forward to seeing you. And remember, stop by and see us here at Sunrise Marine of Alabama here in Daphne. Thanks.